Next one is infrared radiation. Now you can see this fellow over here. He's putting his hands into a plastic bag. And you can't really see his hands because you can't see through this opaque plastic bag. However, if you use infrared radiation, you can actually see the exact shape of his hands that are within the bag. Almost as if you could see through this bag. So what is it actually sensing? Infrared radiation is very good in sensing the heat that emits from our bodies. So you can see here that the face over here is the lightest part because the face actually emits the most heat. Wavelength of infrared radiation is from 10 to the power minus 7 to 10 to the power minus 3 meters. Now it's reaching a range that we actually can imagine quite well because 10 to, 10 to the power minus 3 meters is actually just 1 mm which is visible on your ruler. Those of infrared radiation are intruder alarms, infrared scanners or radiant heaters. A lot of these are used in daily life. The radiant heaters especially are those lights which are which you might find in your canteen um, and they put it over there over the food such that your food stays warm throughout the day. So the characteristics of infrared radiation is that hotter objects emit much more infrared radiation than colder objects and that's how you see the picture like this because this part over here is emitting more infrared radiation than these parts. The source would be warm bodies, detectors would be special photographic films or blackened thermometers. Now the second last one is called the microwave. Microwave is most famously used in microwave oven, what you see over here. Microwaves, the wavelength is from 10 to the power minus 3 to 10 to the power minus 1 meters or more simply put, from 1 mm to about 10 cm. So wavelengths are now so high, so the frequencies are now very low. The energy of these waves are actually very low. And these will not be able to penetrate the skin or the cells. The characteristics of a microwave is that it travels in a straight line without losing much of its energy. Now we begin to see that even though it has become lower frequency, has less energy and therefore become less penetrating. However, with an increase in wavelength, these waves can actually travel further because they can travel in a straight line without losing its energy. Uses of these are microwave cooking, light communication and transmission, and radar systems. Microwaves are actually used for communicating from the earth to the moon. Source of microwaves are electronic devices like Klystrom tubes. Detectors are microwave receivers. Last ones are radio waves. Radio waves are used to transmit almost all kinds of media, as V. For radio waves, the wavelengths are far the longest. They range from 10 to the power of minus 1, which is about 10 cm, to 10 to the power of 5 meters, which is 10 km, from 10 cm to 10 km in length. Therefore, you can note that these have the lowest, ultra lowest frequencies and the ultra lowest energies. However, uh, even though they have such low frequency and low energies, right, their wavelengths are so long that their use is now to transfer things over much, much longer distances. Okay, and that's why they are used in TV and radio transmitters. And their users will be for radio communication and television transmission and their detectors should be the aerials of TV and radio receivers.